Yo, people. How's it going? It's been a while. Let's talk about something that's a bit more dry shit occurring recently. More bullshit occurring recently. Uh, but this, this seems to be a bit more encompassing story about attitude instead of just direct news. Now, um, I might as well start off by saying that not really a big fan of Anita Sarkeesian, not really a big fan of, uh, what's his name, Phil Fish, and not really a big fan of Zoe Quinn for certain actions before, alright? I dislike them as, alright, dislike what they say, and I don't really support what they do. Uh, if you guys don't know, Anita Sarkeesian is doing, um, well, she did perform a Kickstarter for a series that she's currently doing called uh, Tropes vs. Gaming, or Women Tropes vs. Gaming. I listened to a few episodes, and then, you know, the whole issue of her cherry-picking uh, specific events or cherry-picking specific cases, which often are like old, old games. Uh, so, at this point, it just straight up discredited her for me, and I do not see any purpose in listening to her personally. Uh, I'm not saying that she's, you know, a skull of humanity and she will destroy the earth. I just stopped listening to her because I do not like cherry picking when it comes to uh, defining a topic or um, targeting old, old concepts. Uh, when it comes to Phil Fish, I guess I already said my my piece on that. Phil Fish is just a tad bit lunatic, and the guy has absolutely no social skills. That's about it on that case. Zoe Quinn, I'm still reading up on what's been happening. I do not like people cheating on others. I find it quite disrespectful. Um, and that topic leads a bit more towards... Uh, journalist integrity when it comes to gaming then oh who cheated on who I really couldn't care less yet all three of these people have been assaulted directly meaning people are focusing on their private lives or personal lives uh, both people are focusing on tracking down their activities and whatever they say to put them in a bad light um, going up to a point where recently um, both Sarkeesian and Phil Fish were DDoSed, is that how you say it? DDoS being um, currently um, IP tracked to a point where their personal lives and informations have been um, released to the net. So this is, the w this is where I got to put a stop. You know, I gotta put everything on break and go, what the fuck, people? I, uh, just being blunt and honest, what the fuck? Now, let me give you a reminder that Anita Sarkeesian has absolutely no influence on any of our lives. At all. Unless, you know, a huge movement is made and people are, um, following old sectioned and picked theories okay unless that happens she has absolutely no influence on our lives phil fish has no impact on your personal life at all phil fish will never ever come to your home and trash you or your console of choice whatever all right no influence and the same goes for zoe quinn so, now I gotta ask, why in the name of fuck are people going and tracking down their personal lives or personal information to then reveal that on the internet? I, I do not get that. Um, I don't understand the why. Because these people have absolutely no influence on your life, right? Um, they are not going to make your gaming habits suffer uh they are not going to i don't know accidentally destroy the entire gaming community 
they they are nothing to your personal lives uh your daughter is still going to go to school your daughter or son is still going to go to school the next morning and that's you know there's nothing else life just goes on right so why are people going this far going to a point where they're going to track down personal lives and information and then put those online for these people who have absolutely no influence on their personal lives i kind of want to understand um i don't i don't see why really they they are not big corporations they barely have any influence influence on the gaming community they are like again just to be blunt uh people like phil fish are tadpoles in a pond they have absolutely no power they will just run their mouths and sometimes talk legit shit or other times they will be full of hot air and i gotta ask why why go this far I don't get it. I just don't get it. Uh, so this is where it kind of leads uh, a kind of a bit of a tie-in to the online obsession uh, topic I previously made a video about. But this goes a bit further. This goes maybe into dumbassery type of shit where there's no need to assault people like that. Absolutely none and people just feel this entitled need to say i hate this person this person has done this this person is the biggest threat to uh the industry and this is why i'm going to reveal their personal information and contact so that someone may cause harm to them that that is that is beyond stupid beyond fucking stupid why because what's phil fish gonna do right he's quitting he's just running his mouth right now but he quit making video games and people just i don't know they just felt the need to just rub that dagger in you know twist the knife and have some personal because i heard there was an incident about uh fish being called at his home having death threat at his home from phone of course and that's just fucked up like why i don't see why phil fish is just a small fry why would you target anita sarkeesian she's a small fry as well she's not going to do anything to endanger your personal life or industry Yet, a lot of people just seem to be, find it a bit easier to target these people instead of taking care of real problems or real companies affecting the industry in a negative way. Like, you don't hear about, uh, let's say, quick example, you don't hear about EA getting hacked uh, because of some bullshit that DLC that they did for Dead Space, um, DLC ending. Um, you don't hear... Ubisoft getting hacked because of Uplay and and this bullshit that they're pulling off with Uplay or their other controversial talk when it comes to consoles or spamming Assassin's Creed. No, that's that's you know that's completely legit. You know they're not. Of course they are not influencing the industry that way. They're just a big company that's part of the industry and trying to change the formula. But oh God, Anita Sarkeesian. Yeah, that is. Jesus Christ, that's uh, that's definitely worth hacking and revealing personal information. Oh, great. Um, oh, she definitely killed babies with her latest videos. You, you kind of see what I mean? Like, I'm pushing it a bit to the extreme, but you kind of have to understand that um, these attacks, when you're DDoSing a person, it's ridiculous. It's just fucking ridiculous. And... Seeing that these people have absolutely no influence to the industry overall, they're just talking. You know, some of these people may be talking a lot of crap, like Phil Fish, and at times Anita Sarkeesian with certain videos, but I'm not jumping into that topic at all. I do not even want to go back and look at those videos and rebuttal some of these arguments because they rebuttal themselves. So, um, but 
you see, overall, they don't have any impact on the industry compared to bigger companies and companies that will straight up use and abuse monetization or other scummish techniques to get money. Um, so that's why I kind of have to just take a step back and go, what the fuck is going on with people um, seeking out others' personal information uh, for this weird sense of justice towards the gaming community on people that have absolutely no influence in the industry in the first place. I mean, let's be frank, what did um, revealing Phil Fish's info do, right? Like, I'm pretty sure he lives near me. What's it gonna do if I know his personal information? I couldn't give that much more of a fuck. Like, okay, made the video about telling Phil Fish to shut the fuck up and just quit the industry. And frankly, that's a life lesson for anybody who's just going to run their mouth, say, I quit, and then come back and say, oh, well, I still hate your guts, and I didn't quit, but now I quit for real. That's just saying, dude, shut the fuck up. I know you've been bullied as a kid, probably, but you are an overall scumbag from what I hear and all the facts on your person, and especially the way you talk. But after that, that's it. You know, I couldn't care less about Phil Fish. Yet, I don't see, you know, you're not going to see me just, oh God, I got this personal info. Let me send some calls and all that. What would I do in my fucking life, right? It wouldn't teach anything to anyone. Well, so what are you going to learn from me? Just, I don't know, calling Phil Fish and saying, yo, Fish, you suck. What, what is anyone going to learn from that? Absolutely nothing. Why? Well, it's just dumb. There's nothing to learn. The only thing that you could technically learn from interacting with that person is just how much of an asshat you, a person can be. And then again, put under pressure, put under the recent threat or life threat, threatening his life, you know, there's, there's multiple factors popping up now. Yet in the end, there's nothing really, uh, there's nothing to learn from just straight up revealing his information and going, all right, this is where he lives, this is what he does get him there's there's nothing absolutely nothing so that's why i kind of kind of wanted to talk about that and just people going an extra mile for uh certain individuals that do not need it or that have absolutely no influence on the mentioned industry instead of i don't know trying to contact the people that actually do trying to contact the people that were scumbags trying to contact the people that laid off uh, let's say a bunch of devs after a specific project because I don't know they didn't do as much as uh, what was planned during a board meeting you know those are much more detrimental to the industry compared to oh a uh, little little boy fish boy who's going to run his mouth then say he quits and then pull a Jay-Z and come back um, you know what I mean and it goes even further when that kind of dumbassery is done in a group where people are going to uh, plan attacks on specific individuals similar to Fish, similar to Sarkeesian, or I don't know, similar to Zoe Quinn, with some kind of false sense of righteousness, you know? I'm doing this for the gaming community. I'm doing this for the good of everything by attacking this one single individual who is probably going to shut up in a couple of years and has absolutely nothing to do with the industry right now. You kind of see what I mean? Kind of like that incident of this uh, live streamer being called, uh, who had a, a SWAT team called uh, at his home by a group that just says, oh, this guy makes money off Twitch TV. He is obviously evil. Really? That's that's the person that is straight up fucking up the game community, right? Uh, that one streamer that is making ends meet by streaming what he does and what he likes doing. That's apparently it is wrong to get money by doing what you like to do. So right now I should just quit my art because it is wrong if I, let's say, do a Patreon in a couple of months or do a live stream for charity. Yeah, that's going to be exactly wrong no that's just dumb 
That thinking like that is just dumb. I mean, for all the Monsantos out there, for all the McDonald's out there, for all the Walmarts out there, for all that kind of controversy, unions having issues. No, no, of course, a little live streamer is the one guy that sets you off and that fucker needs to go, right? That's clearly a way to think. So I just wanted to get that out because I think that shit has kind of gone a bit too far not kind of just gone a bit too far shit obviously went a bit too far or straight up went too far and i kind of want to ask people to just reflect upon uh, these kind of incidents and wondering is it really worth it to attack these people is it going to change anything in your life to attack these people directly and give out their personal information would you like that to be done to you if you let's say uh, make a kickstarter to have a specific discussion and where people don't necessarily agree with you or let's say a lot of people don't agree with you is it right that you get your personal information revealed because of that like let's be all honest would you like that would you think it's right because at that point you gotta you know gotta have a bit of empathy would you would you like it to be done to you if you let's say had a series of uh, conversations on topics that may offend a lot of people you know let's say if i make an entire vlog on ferguson talking about both sides would it be right that people would reveal my personal information for that no why i'm not going to influence your fucking life and the same goes with the fish and the sarkeesian Yes, there's a lot of drama, there's a lot of bullshit, and there's a lot of things to be accounted for, especially for Zoe Quinn. Like, that is a whole other topic on its own, and I would ask you to look it up on YouTube from various sources to get multiple sides of that story. Yet, in the end, after you hear all the sides, would you still condone uh, revealing these kind of people's personal identity? And be frank, be straight up frank. Compare them to companies like uh, Walmart, Monsanto, um, the, uh, I forgot the bank's name. I still need to remember that bank because they fucked up a lot. Or uh, hell, corporate warfare, you know, would you, would you equate their little actions to that? Would you equate their actions to DLC ending? Because that's another bullshit happening in the game industry and hopefully that thing gets nipped in the bud i think it's been a couple of years since we had that idiot that idiocy happen so just think think and evaluate that shit anyway i'm out later people and thanks for listening because man this shit is just going out of hand next up if a person doesn't like your scoreboard they're gonna call the whole fucking swat team at your ass Seriously, this is gonna get funny, right? Later, people.